Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Yum and Tasty and today we are going to make the special rice momos. They look just like flowers and they look really beautiful and they taste amazing and I have complemented this dish with three special dips. For the listed ingredients, do check the description box below. Let's start. At first, I am taking about 2 cups of basmati rice and just soaking it in water and keeping it for about 30 minutes. Now, for the dips, I am taking a mixer and I will be adding in coriander leaves, about 2-3 to three tablespoons chopped and then, then some uh, chilies according to your taste then 7 to 8 garlic cloves and a bit of garlic paste like half teaspoon and then I'm going to grind it into a fine paste you can also use a bit of water that's not a problem but uh, use little water not more now I'm taking some mayonnaise about 3 teaspoon of mayonnaise Then I'm just blending it nicely so that uh, it just mixes well and forms like a fine paste. And I'm adding some ground sugar, about half teaspoon. It's according to your taste. Then a bit of salt. And I'll be adding the coriander paste that we just made, about two teaspoon. You can also add more in order to change the color into a much darker uh, shade but I am fine with this one. Now for the deep green dip I am just adding some sugar and salt in the coriander paste. These are all just according to your taste. A bit of lime for the tangy taste. And uh, also a bit of tomato sauce in it and with the rest of the tomato sauce I'll be adding a bit of sugar because I want it to be like a sweeter uh, sauce that's why so the dips are ready Now let's make the momos. So for it I have taken about 1 kg of boneless chicken and then I'm, I'll be grinding it into a paste so that I can make some balls out of it. With this, I'll be also grinding some onion, garlic, ginger, chilies and coriander. Here, it, there are about two medium sized onions and like one teaspoon of ginger and the rest of the coriander, it will be like three teaspoon of coriander, three tablespoon of coriander and chilies according to your taste, one or two as you like. I have given all the perfect amounts in the description box. Do take a look at it. And also adding some garlic cloves. About 8 to 10 cloves will be okay. And I'll be mixing it all up with the ground chicken. Mm -hmm. 
mix it nicely so that everything combines really well I'll be adding 1 tablespoon of soya sauce and about 1 teaspoon of salt but take care of it because um, it's totally according to your taste you may need more or less now I'll be making some balls out of this meat if it sticks to your hand just grease your palms with some oil okay I'm adding a bit of salt in the basmati rice that I have strained beforehand and now I'll be rolling the balls over the basmati rice and stick the rice over the ball nicely press the rice lightly over the ball that will be all right now I'm reading, repeating the same process it's really easy and you can make it like in really less time now we are going to steam the momos I'm just using a steamer and I'll be steaming it for about 10 to 15 minutes on high flame make sure to cover them properly with the lead and check in between I think that will be good for the experience and see how it has come out and now we are going to plate them plating is of your choice I'm just using these dips using a toothpick to like make some tails and now placing the momos Doesn't they look really elegant and beautiful? And they really taste very nice. And since it's like rice momos, it's very fulfilling as well. You can have these dumplings for your dinner or lunch as well if you like. Let's taste it. Yum, that's 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 really nice. And the sauce tastes really well. All the dips, they're amazing. I've plated in this way also. As it's as it looks like flour. I really thought this would look nice. Okay, thanks for watching and do like my video and share and subscribe. Thank you.